Right, so uh, now October this year, we've got a, there's two slides for this particular group. Um, we've got the 40 watt candle uh, greater than the, uh, the fancy round and decorative range, which is your G types, your great big uh, balls. We've got the mains voltage halogen type, and we've now got the extra low voltage reflector lamps. And that's actually the green table, which is the Michael. The green table is quite a large product group that's now been targeted to be MEPS approved. Um, and as you can see, we've got um, <coughs> quite a large product group there. The next one would be, this is the second group, and once again, it's all October um, 2010 this year. We've got um, the MR16, the MR11, and also the JD lamps, which are already halogen lamps, but they also have to be MEPS approved, both the JD, JDD and the B32. <coughs> That was actually once again the green table over there. Now, of course, in October 2012, we have another large product group, which will be the yellow table here. We've got your main voltage reflector lamps, um, and they're all your PAR lamps, the reflector lamps that are spotlights, both your incandescent and also the halogen range. And then now what they're doing is they're targeting the 40 watt in the plain candle, fancy man, and decorative lamps. So there's a, quite a large group of products that are going to be, uh, have been MEPS approved. Right, so what are they going to replace it with? Well, we've currently got the old incandescent light bulb, which is the filament is generic with all the different varieties of uh, bulb shapes, but they're now going to uh, introduce the G, um, the, like a G9 capsule lamp. The energy savings on these are between 20 and 30 percent. Their um, colour temperature will be 2,900 Kelvin, and of course they are dimmable. Now I'll just turn this product over here for you. Right here we go. <coughs> right, uh, the one on the left hand side is the new Xenon lamps. The one on the right hand side, well, for me anyway, it's um, the uh, incandescent light bulb. You can see that the colour is very, very similar. So when you buy the new one, you can, you're can you not going to notice the difference over a period of time, because all the others will disappear. And a lot of questions are asked, are they dimmable? And? And of, of course, they, these ones are dimmable because they're <coughs> a filament uh, type lamp. Of course, they all have to be energy uh, saving, so the, the 18 to 25 and, so, and 28 to 42 right through to 105 is equal to a 150 watt light output. So that's all that, that's a new technology that will be the basis of uh, uh, the product that's going to be MEPS approved. Now, finally, um, you may have equipment that has to use the old incandescent light bulb and you don't have a choice um, about using it. Also the other three, two products, the fluorescent or the compact fluoro, um, you may get an exemption for. So if you wish to use uh, an old lamp that's for specific application that cannot be a new model, then you can apply online through the government regulations and apply to import the product. So the government, government may say yes or no to your application, but it's up to them to, and you to give a viable reason why you need the old product. So that's the end of mine.